during that time, you captained FC Kansas City. And this wasn't the first time you were a captain of a team. You captained, um, captained, that's such a weird, captained it? Captained. Captained <laughs> uh, the U19 youth national team at the world championship. I assume you were probably a captain at UVA. My last year, yeah. Co-captain. Co-captain. Um, do you feel like you've always been a leader? I think that coaches have thought of me as a leader and it took me a while to really appreciate that part about myself. And it wasn't until really recently that I kind of come into the acknowledgement that like, I do have something to give to a team and there is value and I am worthy. And I think I had to realize that it, it was more from me being authentic and knowing that I'm not going to be a rah, rah, high energy type of leader. Like I'll leave that to you, Kelly, but I will be like the steady solid. I will, you know, reach out to make sure that you're okay. I'll pull you aside and talk to you like that type of leader. And I think there's real value in that. I think there's value in all types of leadership. Absolutely. And as someone who's been introverted her entire life, like really understanding, like how can an introverted people be a leader of extroverted people? Yeah. And there are some books that I've read. There's Quiet by Suzanne Cain, who I think was really life-changing for me, that introverted people actually can be very good leaders for extroverted people because you keep them on track. Absolutely. And you, you foster those, those relationships with those people. And so- it's something that I've, I think coaches always saw in me and maybe players saw in me, but I never saw in myself until pretty recently. I would say watching you as, you know, when you've, when you've been the captain for the national team, watching you in that role, I have tried to emulate so much of how you carry yourself, how you lead. Like you said, you're, you're introverted. I come off, I think a little bit more extroverted, just a, um, bit. Just a little bit, but I just, I really appreciate how you do what you do and how you lead because it's something that should be celebrated. Like you said, I think a lot of leaders come off as the loud ones or whatever, but the the fact that the way that you lead and the way that you do it, it's just... I just think it's been, I think it's fantastic. And, and I've always looked up to you in that way and, and tried to learn as much as possible from you. Um, so thank you for that. Well, I try to learn from you as well. And I need to learn that sometimes it's okay to get into arguments and to speak my truth and to get into it a little bit because I always have shied away from that. And you've brought that out more in me. Like, I feel like I can argue with you all the time. And it actually makes me more comfortable kind of getting into it with other people, which I think is important. Like I can't, as a leader, just always kind of um, be a comforting hand. Sometimes you do to get the best out of your players. You need to dig in a little bit and you need to demand more. And you've taught me that. That's good. I feel like I, yeah. I, that's that's good. Hopefully, arguing in a in a um, constructive way because I, I I hope that's how my, my our dialogue will go sometimes. And I think it does. Yes, no, it does. I think we can disagree with one another, and we do so frequently. But at least we do it with an understanding and a respect. Yeah, it's a good it's a good way to be. 